the nitrogen cycle geared towards the leaving surf biology course. So where does the nitrogen cycle fit into ecology? It's part of nutrient recycling. It's the way in which elements are recycled between the living and the non-living parts of the ecosystem. So why is nitrogen important? Why is it needed? It's needed for biomolecules, in particular proteins. And an important two molecules that you encounter are those coenzymes NAD and NADP. It's also needed for nucleic acids. So there's quite a lot of nitrogen in our atmosphere, approximately 79%, but it's in an unreactive form, an inert form, so a form that we can't really use. So bacteria are essential for converting atmospheric nitrogen to a usable form. So this is an overview of the whole nitrogen cycle. At the end of this video, you should be able to label one of these or put them together yourself. Plants get their nitrogen by absorbing nitrates through their roots. They then use these nitrates to make their proteins and to make their nucleic acids. Animals such as this cow, this herbivore, it gets its protein by eating the plants. So you can see that nitrogen is going to be passed down the food chain. So when we eat our burger here, we're eating effectively the animal or the products of an animal, for example, the dairy and the meat. And so that's how we're getting our nitrogen or else we can just eat plants that have nitrogen in them. Involved in this cycle is also death and decay because when plants and animals die, the nitrogen containing compounds are broken down by bacteria and fungi and released to the soil. The same with the products of excretion. So to make the nitrogen cycle really easy for yourself, make sure you can talk about nitrogen fixation, then nitrification, and finally denitrification in that order. And know all about the particular bacteria that play a role. Also be able to mention something about excretion and decomposition. But the main three, they're the really important ones. The nitrogen cycle begins with nitrogen fixation. So nitrogen fixation is converting atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen compounds such as ammonia or nitrate. It's mostly ammonia, but it can happen naturally through the action of lightning and volcanoes and the Haber process used to make fertilizer where atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrate. But mostly it's done by free living bacteria in the soil and they're going to convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. Also, there's a group of bacteria that live in the root nodules of legumes and they do nitrogen fixing. They convert it into ammonia also. Nitrogen fixation is mostly carried out by bacteria where they convert atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia. It's mostly bacteria that live freely in the soil, but there are another group of bacteria that live in the root nodules of legumes. And examples of legumes are clover, soya and alfalfa. The bacteria that live in these root nodules have a symbiotic relationship with the plant. So it's a relationship in which two different species live in close association and it involves benefit. But in fact, it involves benefit for both the plant and the bacteria both gain. It's called mutualism when that takes place. So the plant gets its nitrogen compounds and the bacteria gets nutrients and a habitat, a place to live. So just to note that these bacteria in the root nodules of legumes require an anaerobic environment and it's important for a particular enzyme. So here it is in picture form. So you can see the Haber process, you can see lightning, you can see the action of volcanoes for nitrogen fixation. You can also see those free living bacteria in the soil. And here we have our pink clover or red clover. And you can see the root nodules that contain those bacteria that are going to fix nitrogen. So just remember that plants take in nitrogen usually as nitrate ions and these are absorbed through the roots by active transport. Just bear that in mind. Part two of the nitrogen cycle is nitrification. This is converting ammonia, stroke ammonium, to nitrite, then to nitrate. This is done by a very special group of bacteria in the soil. They're called the nitrifying bacteria and they're totally different to the nitrogen fixing bacteria that you encountered previously. The reason why ammonium is up there is because ammonia is very quickly often converted to ammonium in the soil. And it's this then that gets converted to nitrite and then to nitrate. It's also important to remember that excretion will result in a lot of nitrogen containing compounds being released into the soil and the action of decomposers, bacteria and fungi on these products and on dead plant and animal remains results in ammonia being formed. The nitrifying bacteria will act on ammonia, converting it into nitrite and then nitrate. 
So very simply, stage two of the nitrogen cycle involves these special bacteria called the nitrifying bacteria. They're found in the soil and they're going to convert ammonia or ammonium into nitrite and then into nitrate. We also consider the products of excretion and dead plant and animal remains because decomposers will return the nitrogen containing compounds in those products back to the soil where the nitrifying bacteria will act on them, converting them eventually to nitrate. So remember, ammonia or ammonium is going to be converted to nitrite and then to nitrate in nitrification. And the reason why I have the skull and crossbones there is because nitrite is toxic to plants. That's why it's converted to nitrate. The final stage in the nitrogen cycle is denitrification. This is converting nitrate back to nitrogen gas and releasing it to the atmosphere. This is carried out by anaerobic bacteria in the soil. You'll find them in wet, boggy soils. So when farmers' lands flood, this is disaster because it facilitates these anaerobic bacteria. They take over and they will denitrify the soil. So they'll remove all of the nitrate and release it as nitrogen gas. So we started off with this schematic of the whole process and it looks very detailed and very daunting. But if you remember one, two, three, if you remember fixation, nitrification and denitrification, you should be able to follow it and to draw your own. So let's start at the very beginning. Step one is nitrogen fixation. It's converting atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen containing compounds. So in the case of volcanoes, lightning and the Haver process, atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrate, but mostly nitrogen fixation is carried out by bacteria, particularly free living bacteria in the soil, these aerobic bacteria, and they convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. But there's also special bacteria that live in the root nodules of legumes, and they also fix nitrogen. So step number two in the nitrogen cycle is nitrification. This is the conversion of ammonia or ammonium into nitrites and then into nitrates. This is carried out again by bacteria that live freely in the soil, but they're special bacteria. They're called the nitrifying bacteria and they are aerobic bacteria. So also in stage two nitrification, we have to remember the products of excretion and the action of those decomposers returning nitrogen containing compounds back to the soil so that nitrifying bacteria can act on them. So the final stage in the whole process is denitrification, converting nitrates to nitrogen gas, releasing this nitrogen gas back to the atmosphere. And this is carried out by anaerobic bacteria found in waterlogged soils. So this is an overview of the whole process. So basically you can pause the video if you want and read through the notes or make your own notes. Remember, the only way to study effectively is to do the exam papers and to check your answers with the official marking scheme. Always use your textbook. So remember, do little, but do it often. That's the key.